Well, if you have an 8th or 9th gen locked Intel CPU and especially an i7-8700 and you want to decrease the temperature, decrease the power consumption and actually slightly increase the performance as well, this is the video for you. Now today we don't have temperature issues because we are running this iceberg thermal here but we are still gonna be benefiting noise and overall system uh, quality. So now let's go in the BIOS and let's start tuning. Okay, so once in the BIOS, the first thing you wanna do is go into the advanced mode and we want to reach the overclocking tab. Now we want to put our overclocking explore mode to expert and on our CPU ratio apply mode, we want to put all core and we want to put the maximum that it lets us. So we can just go up until it lets us. And it, in our case with the 8700, we will tap out at 46. So we just put 46 there. CPU ratio mode, we put fixed mode. So now it just runs at that frequency all the time. And now same thing for the ring ratio. We want to just max it out at 43 right there. Now we want to go down and of course, make sure to enable your XMP in case you have XMP compatible RAM. And then we want to go all the way down until we find our nice voltage settings. Okay. Now once here, what we want to do is basically undervolt your core. However, if you have, like we have here today, an H370 locked board, you might not have the V-Core voltage. So if you have the V-Core, you wanna put either a minus 0.05 offset or just set the V-Core to 1.15 or at maximum 1.2. But if like here today, you unfortunately do not have that, then we can do another extra things to be able um, to decrease the temperature a bit more, okay? So stay tuned. Now, what we can do is go into CPU features and find our package C state limit. Now, a little bit under that, you will have your long duration power limit and you wanna unlock this as much as possible. So just put all those values to the maximum, okay? Just max them out, okay? And now we wanna go into Windows. So hit F10, save it and see you into Windows, okay? Let's go into Windows. Now, once into Windows, you wanna quite simply go over on Google and download Throttle Stop. You will download it from Tech Power Apps website, the first link, and just download it into download, okay? Once it is downloaded, go there, unzip it right there, and then move it to a location you like. Double click on it. It will warn you that we're about to break the system. Say you're fine with it, okay? And you will have here your nice throttle stop. Now, this is a bit tricky to navigate, but if you follow me, you will be able to do it easily. So click on FYVR right here, and you will bring up this bigger option, this bigger tab, okay? Now make sure you select CPU core right there, okay? Now, this will also let you just max out the cores. So max out all the cores in here as well, right there. And then you wanna go here and unlock adjustable voltage, adaptive, make sure it's on 125 millivolt, and now just lower this by 100 millivolt, right there. Now what we are doing is we are applying a negative offset. So you wanna test this out a bit for your CPU, of course. So if you have a ninth gen CPUs, you will probably be able to do 75. If you have an i9, maybe you can push this to minus 125. In my CPU, we can do minus 100. And I think most 8700s will be able to do minus 100. Now, if you wanna go the extra mile, you can also go on CPU cache and just give it a nice unlock adjustable voltage, adaptive and just minus 50 over here as well. At this point, you wanna just click on okay, save voltages immediately, hit apply, hit okay, and boom, you are now effectively undervolted and your core ratio is actually boosting a bit higher so we won on all sides and if you go ahead and test out just how nicely the cpu runs you will find you probably have 20 degrees less heat in your system so please if this was helpful subscribe to the channel as i have many more tutorials even for different cpus and for gpus as well as very good budget builds like the one we are undervolting here today. Again, you might want to check this out. So yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.